So in this video, we're going to discuss the synapse. And the synapse is a fancy word that scientists use to talk about the point where two neurons communicate with one another. And in order to understand what a synapse is, we have to kind of first understand the basic anatomy of a neuron. And so most neurons are composed of a cell body, okay, or a soma, uh, also known as a cell body. And that's kind of the main part of the, the cell. And coming off of that soma or cell body is an elongated structure known as an axon. Okay, And the axon is basically how the neuron sends information to other cells. And then off of the other side of the soma or cell body are elongated structures that are finely branched. And these structures uh, look like that are known as dendrites. Dendrites and dendrites receive information and allow it to go to the soma or body um, and then that cell or that neuron can then pass that information along or inhibit that information from going down its axons to other neurons. So now let's talk about the synapse. So in order to talk about the synapse we have to blow this whole structure up and what we do is we take a look at the axon okay, of one cell and the dendrite of an adjacent cell. So I'm going to have the dendrite coming in here of an adjacent cell. Okay, So this is the dendrite of the cell that's receiving the information, also known as the postsynaptic neuron. Okay, And then this is the axon of the neuron that's sending the information, and that's also known as the presynaptic synaptic neuron. Okay, and this area here between those two neurons, between the axon and the dendrite or the cell body of the neuron receiving that information is the synapse, okay, also known as the synaptic cleft. Okay, and this is kind of where all the magic happens in terms of the communication between two neurons. And so basically what's going on is that an action potential or an electrical signal that comes down the axon of this cell allows calcium, ultimately, calcium 2 plus, to run into the end of this axon. Now, at the kind of docked at the end of this axon are numerous vesicles filled with neurotransmitters. And neurotransmitters are basically chemicals that do the communication part of this message that's going to be going on between this axon and this dendrite. Now, calcium is important because what happens is that it allows these vesicles, and you can kind of think of the vesicles as almost uh, little water balloons, are filled up with neurotransmitter. And the calcium binds to these vesicles and then allows them to fuse here with this, with the end of the axon. And when they fuse, they release all of their little neurotransmitters into the synapse or synaptic cleft. And that neurotransmitter, let's say neurotransmitter NT, diffuses across to the dendrite or the cell body of the postsynaptic neuron and interacts with this um, receptor. Now, this will open up ion channels and allow um, ions such as sodium, potassium, chloride to rush into or out of, the, uh, out of the cell. And as a result, you can get either inhibitory, and again, this is depending on uh, what type of neurotransmitter is interacting here, or excitatory, excitatory. Uh, an inhibitory or an excitatory response in the postsynaptic neuron or the dendrite here. Now, you can kind of liken this to, um, uh, basically, you can think of the postsynaptic neuron as the president of a country, right? And the axons of the presynaptic neurons are all of his advisors. And axons are coming in here and forming uh, synapses with uh, the postsynaptic neuron and the president. And the advisors are all trying to get their message across to the president. And some of those messages may be inhibitory, and some of them may be excitatory. And the combination of all of those messages ultimately determines if the president is going to send that message on to other neurons. So if the net message is ultimately excitatory, then that message is going to get sent on to other neurons. And if it's ultimately inhibitory, then that, uh, that postsynaptic neuron is not going to pass those messages on. Um, and, uh, uh, and basically that's kind of... Uh, the importance of the synapse is that it serves as a communication 
um, spot between neurons, allowing messages to either be stopped or um, communicated to other neurons. And uh, you can imagine that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of synapses uh, in a human brain and spinal cord, um, which uh, kind of makes uh, um, this a very amazing and, and uh, um, complex structure. But ultimately, that's kind of the basis of what a synapse is.